To celebrate World Neglected Tropical Diseases Day in Uganda, teams from the Accelerating Resilient Innovative Sustainable Elimination of NTDs program traveled to Lira in the north of the country. Heading up the celebrations was Dr. Jane Ruth Acheng Ochero, the Minister of Health, who spoke about Uganda's efforts to eliminate neglected tropical diseases. So, what are NTDs? NTDs are a group of preventable diseases that affect 1.6 billion of the world's poorest people. Yet, these NTDs are preventable, meaning no one should needlessly have to suffer. Uganda's battle towards NTD elimination has had key successes. It's no wonder then that Uganda is doing so well in eliminating NTDs. You have interrupted transmission of trachoma, LF and onco in a majority of focus areas. Yet, more work still needs to be done. Uganda's theme for World NTD Day was a 100% commitment towards elimination. This is a notion mirrored by our Arise team, who are working alongside 200 Ministry of Health staff and devoting their time to NTD programming across the country's districts. While numerous NTDs affect the Ugandan population, a key focus is to eliminate schistosomiasis known as bilhazia or snail fever. Bilhazia is caused by dirty water. So, someone to get it, you get to contaminated water, or when you go uh, to catch fish, sometimes can, you can get through your finger, when you go to the toilet, maybe someone has it and come and put it with you. The World NTD Day ceremony marked the beginning of a mass drug administration in the region managed by the Arise team to combat schistosomiasis. Traveling across the country, community members received doses of praziquantel, a cheap and effective treatment for rural communities vulnerable to schistosomiasis. In schools, children received a particular dose of medicine dependent on their height. All recipient details were recorded and children had their fingers inked to ensure those receiving the medication could be identified later. Uganda's commitment to ending NTDs is clear. The Minister of Health is currently advocating for a budget line for NTDs in the national health budget and is introducing a system of national insurance contributions that will increase the funding base. However, efforts to fight NTDs are still at risk. Donors are encouraging governments to pick up a greater share of funding for NTD programs at a time when COVID has both depressed economic growth and created additional demands on limited health budgets. Because of this shrinking fiscal space for health, NTD programming needs to get smarter as countries get to the end game in elimination, surveillance, and precision mapping.